Back in 2014, when I calculated an exact value for the fine structure constant, I wasn't even close to the currently accepted value. And all I could do was wait for a more refined measurement to provide some vindication I was on the right track. It came gift wrapped in December 2020 when a team of physicists in Paris made the most accurate measurement to date, landing within one standard uncertainty of my calculated value. While this measurement suggests my number is the true value, the most compelling evidence lies in its ability to set other lepton and quark mass values. Please grant me a few minutes of your time and I'll show you how all of these fundamental constants are interdependent. Any valid attempt to unravel the mystery of the origin of the fine structure constant must address the fundamental question. Why does an electron share a photon with such a precise energy? One plausible answer is so that it can share a much larger quantum of energy. It's a known fact that particles behave like waves as defined by their Compton wavelengths. When sharing a force carrier like a photon, these wavelengths shorten and at a precise energy value, they can share common factors between their wavelengths. Whether these common waves interlace to form standing waves, or whether bonded particles share a virtual particle with this common wavelength, that's open to interpretation. For now, we'll just refer to them as shared common factor quanta. In order to search for large common factors between the proton and electron adjusted Compton wavelengths, I converted all energies into long integers. There are no error bars in a common factor analysis. It was dimensionless and exact. Consider the electron mass energy shown on the top bar in blue and the proton mass energy shown in green just below it. We add a shared photon shown in yellow to both with just the exact amount of energy so that the total energies of both particles can now be divided into the largest equal energy block or quanta that can now be shared between the particles. In this case, a shared photon with a 3717 integer energy results in a quanta of energy with an integer value of 295775, around 80 times the energy value of the photon. This common factor quanta not only sets the exact energy value of the photon, it also sets the exact energy of the electron and proton masses as well. All three energies are exact and completely interdependent. The fine structure constant was calculated based on a ratio of the photon and electron energy values where this shared common factor was found. The same fine structure constant that landed within one standard uncertainty of the latest measured value. The electron not only shares a common quantum of energy with the proton, it also shares one with its quarks. This means multiple quanta may be shared simultaneously by multiple particles adding additional stability to bonded particle systems. Consider the electron mass energy shown on the top bar in blue and the mass energy of two up and one down quarks shown in green just below it. By sharing the same photon, shown in yellow, with a 3717 integer value, the entire electron energy becomes the shared quanta with an integer value of 139605800 over 3700 times the energy value of the photon. The maximum possible value of a shared quanta between two particles is the energy of the smaller of the two particles, and that's the case here. This analysis determines the exact value of the total mass of the three quarks, but not the individual up and down quark masses themselves. For that, we need to take the next step and consider the gluon energies. Within the proton and neutron, the gluon becomes the new force carrier, dwarfing the energies of the up and down quarks. 
Consider the proton mass energy consisting of two up quarks, shown in yellow, and one down quark, shown in purple. All three quarks share a gluon, shown in orange. At an exact gluon energy, the quarks share a massive common quanta with an integer energy of 353-331-239, which is exactly half of the mass difference between the down and up quark. It's also the exact same quanta energy shared between the quarks in the neutron. This means the proton and neutron can also share this energy quanta between themselves, so it's involved in the weak force as well as the strong. This quanta energy also equals the exact difference in mass energy between the neutron and proton. This is the largest possible shared quanta in the three quark models and is exceedingly rare. It only occurred once between an up quark search range of 1 and 3.5 mega electron volts. All of the calculated values of the masses and energies are well within the current uncertainties of the latest measured values. They are all fully interdependent and tie back to the fine structure constant because they both share the exact same proton mass integer number. The tau and muon leptons are also factors of the photon and electron as defined by the fine structure constant. Consider the electron mass energy shown on the top bar in blue and the tau energy in green just below it. By sharing the same photon shown in yellow with the 3717 integer value, the entire electron energy becomes the shared quanta with an integer value of 1396058800. Again, this is the maximum possible value of a shared quanta between these two particles. The muon does not share a quanta this large. Its quanta integer value is 894900, or about 240 times the energy of the photon. With all of the common factor quanta being shared between particles at this particular fine structure constant, the obvious question is how rare is this event? Do other fine structure constant values produce the same or even larger common factors between particles? To answer this question, a plus or minus 1000 uncertainty range was searched for other candidates that produce these factors. None were found suggesting this really is the true fine structure constant value. There are just too many massive common factors shared between multiple particles for this to be an arbitrary analysis. The particle family is just that, and we just discovered a new trait shared between them. The fine structure constant, lepton and quark masses, and their coupling constants are all interdependent and set by shared common factor quanta. The implications are immense and worth a bit of vetting time to convince yourselves this analysis is valid. My hope is for this promising hypothesis to someday grow into a legitimate theory, but that can't happen without your help. If you have any comments or would like to collaborate on expanding this research, feel free to contact me at bdnelson111 at comcast.net. And thank you for taking the time to view this video.